Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk. And today I am talking about something that's been on everybody's Facebook, Twitter, you name it, feed. And that is Kim Davis and what I think about it. And uh, I have been watching this for, I guess it's been going on for about almost two months now. Maybe more, I don't know. And uh, I'm getting tired of it. I'm actually getting tired of hearing about it. And I figured I'd go ahead and put my two cents in. And hopefully, this will be the last time I talk about it. And anyways, um, as you guys know, Kim Davis is a clerk for Rowan County, Kentucky. Which is pretty close to where I live. Um, I live in Ironton, Ohio which is about 45 minutes away from Rowan, Kentucky. And, um, it's quite embarrassing, actually, since it's so close to me. And, um, you would figure that since you, this lady, has been (laughs) elected as an official and works for the United States government, where gay marriage is legal that there would be no issue with it. But no, no. She's using religion because she thinks she is a vessel for God. Um, Some of you guys may know I am not a religious person. Uh, I used to be back in the day. Um, I was almost a preacher um, quite a long time ago. And um, I kind of gave up on that because... I learned a few things, and religion has not done me any favors, um, and you can agree and not to agree, or not agree, and I am not going to be the guy that tells you you should not believe in God or the Bible, but to me, I just don't believe in it. Um, this is something I used to believe in, um, I just don't believe in it, but um, <clears throat> for somebody to use a religion to justify um, not allowing somebody the very basic right of loving another person and getting married is quite ridiculous. And I have heard some people compare Kim Davis to Rosa Parks. And no, 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 that's not how it works. Kim Davis would be the person who's trying to get Rosa Parks out of the seat on the bus. That's Kim Davis, and she has become some kind of hero of sorts um, to the religious Christian um, communities, and um, I just don't understand it. I mean, it's common sense would dictate that if you have a job and you don't do your job as required by your boss, which in this case would be... um, the United States government, you should be fired, but it's not that simple. Since she is an elected official, she cannot be fired, but she can be impeached. Um, she did get put in jail, and I don't know if it's true, but she did say some coarse words about hating the gays and rather die, die than be um, in a uh, prison with lesbians or something like that. And it doesn't help the case. It does not help it at all. And um, I don't know. I think it's time, but she just kind of steps down. And um, I don't know. Um, It's a mess. But one of the funny things about this, though, is she has been married, I think it was three or four times. And um, (laughs) whenever uh, this was brought up to the case from her church... They said, well, that doesn't matter. She, she saved. Um, and this, I, I just don't understand. Like, I guess she's just wanting to save all these marriage licenses for herself, considering the fact she's been married so many times. And uh, I don't know. Um, but in my opinion, I think if she was, is that, um, personally hurt by this, she should either A, 
quit her job or B, allow the other clerks to go ahead and file file these marriage licenses without her, you know, having anything to do with it. The only thing she would have to do is file it. Um, you know, it's no different than any other, you know, um, <coughs> rights movement. Um, she's just somebody that's in a crossfire. She thinks she's a martyr. She thinks she's doing, um, you know, God's work. But in the end, she's looking like an idiot. Um, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not blaming religion for this. I'm not blaming the gays. I'm not blaming anybody. Um, but I think if you love somebody, gay, straight, transgender, no matter what, you should be allowed to marry this person, not be discriminated against, and, you know, have that basic right and not feel like an outcast. Because all it looks like at this point is just a bully. I watched, um, I went um, down the road. I, I live close to Ashland, Kentucky, and that's where the fed the court hearing was where she got put in jail and held contempt of court. And I saw all kinds of ugly stuff. Um, some dude in microphone yelling, you're going to hell, you're going to hell to, um, you know, these peaceful protesters. And it really makes you think, it's like, you know, Christians should be, there should be an example. Um, you're supposed to be a peaceful community and you, you have these few people and this is this is on the gays as well you just have a select few people that makes things make your you as a group look terrible um this is any group it doesn't have to be gays or christians or anything like that it's going to be blacks whites anybody um it just takes you know a handful of people to make that group look bad but the stuff i saw at that fed, uh, the federal building with the uh, people just freaking out and uh, telling these people but just wasn't doing anything they're going to hell uh, you know calling them um, excuse my language but calling them fags in front of their faces that's ridiculous you don't do that I mean you don't that's you know <laughs> I, I believe in not pushing something on somebody and all these people are wanting to do is have the ability to be married and love somebody and make something official that's all it is it's about love it's about peace it's not about hate and you know i see people on my facebook feed freaking out because of this so why would you freak out because somebody wants to get married it's not going to bother you it's not happening. It's not happening. If you do not want to see that, then don't look at it. Don't bother with it. That's you know, it's ridiculous. And uh, I, I could say some really mean things right now, but I don't want to because I'm, you know, it does tick me off that you know I, I have gay friends. I have a lot of gay friends, and it made me really, really happy that um, whenever the United States Supreme Court you know, ruled gay marriage as legal. That's law of the land. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's awesome. And just, you know, like I said, a small group makes this look really, really bad. You know, if I, I like I said, I don't believe in, you know, hardly any, I don't, I don't believe in religion whatsoever. I used to, I used to be super big into religion, but it just doesn't make sense to me. You know, there's a lot of problems I've seen in it, and I've tried many times. I've tried different things, but <clears throat> it's disgusting to see um, all this hate from a group that's supposed to be about love, um, and it just—it's ridiculous. But you know, both sides are going to have you know some issues, and we've seen this in the past. Uh, um, the one thing I didn't agree with was the gay couple. I think it was they went to a cake shop that um, the owners were a religious couple and they wanted them to put something on a cake that they didn't agree with, but they said they would make them a cake, but they sued them. I don't think that was right. I don't think you should press something knowing that if, you know, 
if you wanted a cake, you should have got went to another place where they did it. Um, but you know, I, I do think that um, people are entitled to what they believe in, but you shouldn't press it on somebody, and especially if it's legal, you shouldn't be a hate monger and bigot um, or anything like that. It's ridiculous. But um, before I get too bent out of shape and keep on going, um, I like to apologize. I have not been asleep at all. Um, this is, I woke up today at noon because I, I can't sleep. It's just, I can't do it. And this is going off the topic and this will be a little bit longer than usual. Um, yesterday I wasn't able to get a new episode of the game feed out. Uh, though I have a bunch of ideas, I just wasn't able to do it. Um, and I got a lot of editing to do for, uh, something we did the other day. I haven't been able to get a Goblin Traders episode out for Store Life. I haven't been able to do anything for the last week. And, uh, last week I did put quite a bit of content out to kind of help with this. But hopefully, uh, when you guys see this, um, you guys will enjoy. Uh, sorry for my awesomely bad looks or my beautiful face, but you see it's now 7 o'clock in the morning. And I have not been asleep at all. At all. I just sit there. I started playing Destiny, tested out, um, you know, the 2.0 update. And just been thinking about, you know, what I'm going to do. I've applied for a bunch of new jobs. Um, my medicine's not working um, for my blood pressure. Uh, even though they up my dosage, it's still skyrocketing. Um... And I, I don't know what to do about that. I go on the 11th to go get to, um, get checked out by my actual doctor. And I don't know. It's been a mess. I've just been going through a little bit of um, really, really bad. My anxiety is just getting ridiculously out, been out of shape. I Like, I am been super stressed out for no reason. For some reasons, I don't know. Nothing big, but... Um, and I shaved my beard. Oh my God, my beard is gone. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a mess. And I, I, you know, I know it's off topic, but I just kind of wanted to go ahead and get off that topic before I get super frustrated. Um, I am in my car right now, and I'm getting ready to go back in and try this sleep thing. Um, I, I spent a whole lot of time in my car over the weekend, just driving with, um, you know, my friends, uh, my fiance, and we just hung out and you'll see that on hopefully soon I'm going to put a bonus let's talk it's not much talking it's just a road trip type thing and um you'll get to see us goofing off having to sing alongs um hopefully you guys like it and hopefully this week um I can get out a episode of the game feed if not I may work on a extra long episode for next Tuesday and I do need to work on the Goblin Traders story life. I need to get that out. Um, I feel so bad I wasn't able to go to HeroCon. I missed my high school reunion. And it's a mess. It's a mess. And I don't know. Maybe it could have been worth it. It could have been. But, um, guys, let me know what you guys think about the Kim Davis issue in the comments below. Um, tell me what your thoughts are. Don't... Don't spreading you make things hateful um everybody's got an opinion that's you know and we don't need to hurt somebody just because um they think different than you i mean it shouldn't be a thing but um just let me know what you guys think and as always uh thank you for supporting the channel um be sure to like and subscribe and share us with your friends help the channel grow let's get some more subscribers some more views and um, tell me what you guys want in future content, and next time I will not look like sh absolute garbage. Um, but as always, I love you guys, and you have a wonderful day, and I will have this uploaded as soon as possible, I promise. Thank you guys.